Hello there and welcome to the final farming forecast of the summer. Well, the summer as a whole has been quite mixed. We've had some periods of quite dry weather. We've also had some periods of quite heavy uh, and thundery rainfall at times. We've seen some localised flooding in places. But actually, for many places, overall, the summer as a whole has been relatively dry. So this here is the rainfall anomaly across the whole of the summer. So that's June July and August as estimated by the radar and you can see for much of Scotland, Northern England, Wales, parts of the Midlands in those brown colours relatively dry below average uh, over the whole season. Some of the high ground areas of the Highlands and the Pennines have been slightly above average but elsewhere it's been generally below average over the whole summer. Now further south it's been a little bit more mixed across the Midlands and parts of East Anglia. You can see showing up in the brown colours here Although it's seen very wet at times, and it has been quite wet at times, averaged across the whole summer, most places have actually been slightly below average in terms of the rainfall. Some places possibly slightly wetter than it appears on here, um, due to the way the radar can often handle uh, drizzle and rain um, at the lower levels, but overall it generally has been uh, below average for the rainfall across the Midlands and East Anglia and in the, indeed in southwest England as well. But further south across uh, parts of southern England, around London, that sort of area, southeast England, it has actually been pretty wet, um, averaged across the whole summer. Some places have seen 150% of their uh, normal rainfall, some places even more than that. So it has been very wet in southern areas and this does contrast with the rest of the British Isles, especially up into the northwest. In the last couple of days though it's been relatively settled we've had high pressure sitting over us centered to the northwest of the british isles and really that's going to continue to affect the region over the next few days you can see the jet streams well to the north we've got this other area of jet stream down to the south of us and we've got this big area of high pressure in the center which is keeping things relatively settled through this week you can see that towards the weekend we do see something a bit more active a bit more organized push through finally makes its way through the dominance of that high and we do see low pressure come in uh, towards the weekend but through until then it's looking relatively settled. So looking at that in a little bit more detail this is Tuesday we've got high pressure out to the northwest of us and um, that's bringing this cool and quite cloudy northeasterly flow down the North Sea um, into some eastern parts of Britain so relatively cloudy for many places we have seen some drizzle some patchy light rain a few showers as well but further west it's been that bit drier the best of the sunshine there uh, through that period as well and really through the next few days this is going through Wednesday and Thursday high pressure staying generally where it is it's going to be sunny spells in the west still remaining pretty cloudy down the east coast and there is the potential for seeing drizzle some low cloud at times as well so a much cloudier picture in the east by the weekend that high pressure begins to move away to the east you can see still dominating across Scotland by Saturday, but that low pressure beginning to push in from the southwest, you can see it's bringing some heavy showers, perhaps some thundery showers into parts of Ireland, Wales, southern England by Saturday. So through until Saturday, it's generally dry. Like I say, the eastern parts are going to be cloudier and drizzlier, but things do turn more unsettled into the weekend. And as you go further into the weekend, Sunday and into Monday, this area of low pressure is going to continue to push eastwards um, and bringing more widely unsettled conditions across much of the British Isles as well. So dry this week but turning more unsettled over the weekend and into next week. Now in terms of spraying with this high pressure around it's actually quite a few opportunities to get out there and do some spraying particularly in the west further east we have got this breezy northeasterly so that's going to make things tricky at times especially if you're right along the coast and the best periods are generally going to be early mornings and late afternoons with the winds tending to pick up that bit more uh, during the middle part of the day but you can see a lot of a lot of opportunities for doing spraying the green colors there showing the ideal spraying conditions until we get this area of low pressure coming through and with that bringing more rain some potentially quite breezy conditions that is going to make things that little bit trickier so the best way of staying on top of the forecast is to speak directly to one of our forecasters they're available every day from 6 a.m to 6 p.m on 09065 with calls charged at £1.55 a minute plus any network access charges. And they're the best way of staying on top of the forecast from anything out for the shower risk and wind speeds over the next half an hour out until the outlook for the next three to four weeks. So any questions you've got, they're the best way of keeping on top of the forecast. Now, looking a little bit further ahead into next week and beyond, we do see here, this is the mean pressure anomaly through next week and we see this area of high pressure that was dominating over us has now shifted further east more across Scandinavia and Eastern Europe where it's going to keep conditions relatively dry below average rainfall there but it is going to allow low pressure to move in from the west 
And with that staying out to the east, blocking out to the east, that means these areas of low pressure are going to push in, become quite slow moving and generally stall and linger over it. So it's going to be quite unsettled across the UK, Western Europe, even down into parts of uh, the southeastern part of the Mediterranean um, around Italy and Greece as well. So generally turning much more unsettled across Western Europe. You can see in the rainfall anomaly here, above average rainfall for many of these areas, particularly in the, the kind of Northwest France, the Low Countries, Germany, uh, places like that. But even down into the Southeast as well, it's looking like above average rainfall. And the only places that look to generally be a bit drier is Northern Scandinavia, Northeast Europe, and down into the Southern part of Spain as well. So turning more unsettled into next week. With that more unsettled feel and low pressure coming through, it is actually going to warm up a little bit in Western Europe. You can see temperatures above average, but they're much colder than average uh, further east. You can see a, a big anomaly there for colder temperatures across Eastern Europe, but uh, something slightly milder in store um, in the West. Now, looking beyond that, the general trend is that things do remain unsettled. So you can see here into the second week of September, broad area of low pressure situated right over Europe. That's going to bring pretty much unsettled weather for most places, above average rainfall pretty widely. The driest places are likely to be southern parts of the Mediterranean where some places could see below average rainfall, but elsewhere are wetter than the normal week and generally much more unsettled. It does turn a bit cooler in the west as well into that following week, um, but milder temperatures further east. Now into the final week of September, there's not a huge amount of change. Generally, there's still this blue color here, this anomaly of low pressure, so lower than normal pressure, more unsettled conditions, and again, generally bringing, for most places, slightly above average rainfall, particularly across Central and Northern Europe. Again, the Mediterranean is where that high pressure will ridge in that bit more frequently, so things will be a little bit drier from time to time, but elsewhere, broadly unsettled and tending to be wetter than normal. So here you can just see a, a brief summary of that for the UK. So this is the chance of seeing a dry day, these brown colors here showing a very high chance of seeing a dry day, uh, the green colours here showing a very low chance of, of seeing a dry day. And you can see there's a pretty strong signal through the rest of this week and into the first part of the weekend of high chance of seeing a dry day. The places that are flagging up a little bit wetter are places such as Newcastle, Norwich, places down the east coast where there is going to be that bit more cloud, the chance of seeing some drizzle uh, or, or a few showers. So potential for a, a little bit of a wetter couple of days there. Not hugely wet, it will just be damp and drizzly, um, but there is going to be a little bit more rain around. Um, in northeastern parts, but elsewhere settled. And then you can see a real shift to something more unsettled pretty much for the rest of the month in the north and west. Um, these, this top half of the chart here, uh, very green, showing up as broadly unsettled, the low chance generally of seeing a dry day on any given day. There is that period in the middle part of the month here, but you can actually see in southern Britain, there might be just that bit more ridging towards the end of the month. So we could see things slightly settle down, not a strong signal at this stage, but it is just something to bear in mind that southern areas could see a slightly drier end to the month um, if high pressure does begin to, to build in that bit more again. So to summarise through uh, for the UK, the rest of this week is generally going to be dry, high pressure dominating, with a caveat that eastern areas will be a lot cloudier, potential for some drizzle in that northeasterly flow, but the best of the sunshine will be further west. It will turn more unsettled through next week and likely continue so through the rest of September. And while it's relatively cool in the short term, things do look like they might warm up again slightly next week before turning that bit more cooler beyond uh, where things turn back closer to average. So thanks for watching this week's video. As ever, you can keep up to date with the day-to-day -day forecast for East Anglia and the British Isles on our social media. Thanks for watching.